Uh, listener Ed says, we're planning a trip to the Bahamas. My wife informed me that the finale of The Bachelorette will be happening while we are there. I was told it was my job to make sure she can see it with our Fubo app. I usually take my Amazon Fire Stick on travels. It's less bulky than our Apple TV. A great piece of advice there, by the way. I like that because you can plug it into a TV when you're traveling and you're good to go. Um, but the Googles tell me that accessing anything on Fubo while I'm in the Bahamas is unlikely. And the only solution is to use a VPN. My friend and yours, Allison Sheridan, forced me to subscribe to Encrypt.me at the end of 2019. I figured with all the traveling I was planning in 2020 that it would be a good idea. So I signed up for the renewable subscription. Obviously, I haven't used it in over the last two years, but I discovered that the Fire Stick has both Fubo and Encrypt.me apps, and I plan to load those up before the trip. Due, due to the high consequences of messing this up, is there anything I need to know or should uh, test before leaving on my vacation? Your plan is solid, Ed, except that it still might not work. Mm -hmm. Um out of all of the major streaming services that I've tried, which would be YouTube TV, Fubo, and DirecTV Stream, I think Fubo is the least concerned with your actual location. I've only experimented with this in the U.S., so I can't say for sure. But I don't think you're fired. Well, so you've got an Encrypt.me app on the, on the Fire Stick. I guess one way to test would be to... Log in with that VPN to somewhere in the Bahamas, right? It, or if they don't have an endpoint in the Bahamas, choose something, you know, far, far away and then launch your Fubo app and see what Fubo tells you about where it thinks you are. That will be a good litmus test of what you might get with here. If that fails, though, you could go HDMI from your Mac where you have a lot more control over whether or not the location is going to be shared with the browser or if it's just the IP address uh, and turning off browser, turning off location sharing for whatever browser you're using so that it really truly is just using your IP. Because remember, the max location sharing does not get affected by whatever VPN you're connected to, right? It knows based on the real IP you're connected to and other factors and, and it will divulge that if you let it um so i i that you do that by going to system preferences security and privacy location services and uncheck whatever browser you're going to use there um so that's how i would test all this however if it were me and we were prioritizing the bachelorette uh and and or the fact of prioritizing the bachelorette was a key element in family harmony then I might also rely on other, perhaps less conventional means to ensure a backup plan. This falls into don't get caught on both sides of it, because you don't want to get caught not want, wanting to watch, not being able to watch The Bachelorette. That's number one. But number two is you don't want to get caught doing anything that may or may not be acceptable within the realm of whatever it is, uh, you're, you're, wherever you are when this happens. But I would prep myself to use BitTorrent as a backup here, um, you know, in the interest of marital harmony. <laughs> Go to the, the TV section of rarbg.to. That's probably going to be the easiest site to, to use to go and find the latest episode of a show um, and grab the episodes from here. But I can't stress this enough. Be certain to use your VPN while you're downloading any of these torrents. Um, and hopefully the reasons for that are obvious. Hopefully you don't have to resort to any of this. Quite frankly, it's ridiculous to me that I have to even coach people to do this. I mean, effectively what you, what you're doing is grabbing this in an unauthorized way, right? Like that, that's what we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. It would be really nice. I have no doubt that Ed is willing to pay to get this, but he's going to be in a spot where he can't pay to get this. And that's crazy. That, this is the problem with rights management is it, it when it becomes such a burden that the easiest thing to do is to pirate the stuff, then people are going to pirate the stuff. Um, so like that's there you go. It, you you got to decide whether you're comfortable with this plan B here. But but that would be the fail safe backup plan.